Good evening to all the respected professors, dignitaries, and my dear colleagues. Myself, Dr. Anuradha Sinha from Islamic College, West Bengal. Today, I have this opportunity to present before an August audience a presentation on the topic molecular interactions of L aspartic acid and L vitamin acid with aqueous benzyl trimethyl and we provide highly good solutions at different temperatures. I'd like to thank the organizers of the Indian Chemical Society for giving me this opportunity. Now, coming straight to the importance of this work, the study of the amino acids in aqueous electrolyte solutions can actually provide us information regarding the conformational stability of the beans in the solution, the solubility, the denaturation, the distribution into subunits, the activity of the separation, and the purification, the solute solvent, and the solute interaction. To optimize the control extraction of biomolecules by ionic liquids from aqueous media, knowledge of the thermophysical and thermodynamic properties is required. So, studying these interactions can provide important insight into the conformational stability and unfolding behavior of nuclear proteins. The aqueous solution completely solves effect on conformational properties of amino acids and cause denaturation of proteins, which is an important biological phenomenon. Volumetric, discometric, refractometric, and conductometric techniques render an insight into the molecular interactions that are prevailing in solution and helps in the better understanding of the behavior of salt and water. Coming to the industrial importance of the chemicals which have been used here. Now, an ionic liquid is actually a salt in a liquid state of melting point below some arbitrary temperatures such as 373 Kelvin, so having some intrinsic properties such as the negligible vapor pressure, high thermal stability, large liquid ring. It has got large electrochemical window. It is actually used as designer solvents, as green replacements, or used in reaction involving inorganic and biocatalytic reactions. And it is used as an electrolytic conductive liquid in electrochemistry, in battery, solar cells, lithium ion battery, supercapacitors, metal plating, and so on. Now, the ionic liquid used here is actually benzyl trimethyl ammonium chloride or BTS, which is soluble in water and has lyophilic and hydrophobic group. It can be used as phase transfer catalyst in many biophysic organic transitions used in the agrochemicals, polymer, and pharmaceutical industry. BTAC can also be used as a portion inhibitor in oil. L aspartic acid and L butanic acid are both water soluble polar aliphatic amino acids having very weak dipole ionic reaction. L aspartic acid is an alpha amino acid that is used in the biosynthesis of proteins. Aspartic acid is commonly used to reduce the feelings of tiredness, improve aesthetic performance, and increase the size and strength of muscle. Butanic acid is an alpha amino acid that is used by almost all living beings in the biosynthesis of proteins, and it is also an excitatory neurotransmitter in the vertebrate nervous system. Now, the source of the purity of the samples, the study of ionic liquid that is benzyl trimethyl ammonium chloride and the amino acid L aspartic acid, L butanic acid, were purchased from the Sigma Alki Germany, SRL India, and DLC respectively, and the thesis purchase. The purity of mass was taken to be much greater than uh, 0 0.99, and the amino acids were actually dried in vacuum over blue silica gel for at least 72 hours at room temperature. Double distilled DNA is water with a conductivity of approximately 0 0.7 microsiemens per centimeter was used for the preparation of the solution. Coming to the apparatus and procedure part, the vibrant tube anten bar density meter was used uh, to measure the density with actually a precision of 0 0.00001 into 10 to the minus 3 kg per meter cube. And double distilled dry uh, water, uh, double distilled water dry air was used to calibrate the density meter. The temperature was kept within a range of plus uh, 0 0.01 degree. Uh, viscometer was measured with the help of a suspended viscometer, which was calibrated at room temperature into doubly distilled water. The viscometer was dried and cleaned perfectly through hot thermostat and then filled with experimental solution, vertically placed in a glass wall thermostat. Uh, this instrument was actually maintained at 0 0.1 Kelvin, which is the Bose Fonda instrument. And at thermal equilibrium, the flow time were recorded to help of the stopwatch with an accuracy of 0 0.01 seconds. The uncertainty for the measurement of viscosity was 0 0.2 into 10 to the minus 3 millipascal second. Coming to the third one, that is the measurement of refractive index, has been done with the help of digital refractometer metallurgy instrument. The 
the accuracy was plus uh, 0.002 units approximately, and the refractometer and was actually calibrated twice using distilled water for measurement of the refract index of the experimental solution. The calibration of the instrument was made after a few seconds of each measurement. The light source was light emitting diode, and the temperature of the solution was maintained during the experiment in the book filled digital DC thermostatic water bath. The conductivity measurement was also done by a metal tolerant instrument in lab 734 cell. The specification of the cell has measurement of conductivity rate in the linear and the cell that four graphite and the cell constant 0.56 per centimeter. The calibration of the cell has been done with 0.1 normal MSBF solution, accuracy being plus minus 0.5%. So now coming to the result in discussions, actually the first one is about the density measurement. And then here the apparent molar volumes, 5 e were determined from the solution densities using the following equation, where M is the molar mass of the solute, C is the molarity of the solution, rho and two is for other densities of the solution and so on the perspective. For the analysis of the interactions occurring here, the knowledge of the limiting apparent molar volumes are important. The limiting apparent molar volume, that is the phi V0. We are calculated using a least square statement to the plots of phi d versus root c using the following method equation, where phi is is the limiting at molar volume at infinite dilution and is the star is the experimental slope. Coming to the uh, figure, figure 1a and 1b, here we see the variation of the limiting at molar volume that is phi d0 or for L aspartic acid, the first one, and L glutamic acid solution, the second one. At 0.01 molar, 0.03 molar, and 0.05 molar of the ILP solutions at 293 Kelvin, which is shown by series 1, 303 Kelvin shown by series 2, and 313 Kelvin shown by series 3. The uh, 5 0 values are actually there, we see that it's positive and increase with an increase in the concentration of ionic liquid and also with the increase in temperature for both the ion and the they actually indicate the extent of solute surface interaction, which is found to be maximum for L glutamic acid in 0.05 molar aqueous ionic liquid solution at 313 Kelvin and minimum for L aspartic acid in 0.01 molar aqueous ionic liquid solution at 293 Kelvin. This is probably due to the release of a number of solute molecules from loose solution layer during the solute surface interactions. The higher values of L glutamic acid indicates that it interacts more with BTAC than L aspartic acid under any conditions. So, if we now absorb table 1a and 1b, we see here uh, the, the experimental slope that is the LP star are negative and it decreases with the increase in concentration of the ionic liquid and with the rising temperature. LP star actually indicates the extent of the solute solid reaction. Which is found to be highest in L glutamic acid, 0.01 molar ionic liquid solution at 293 Kelvin. And it is minimum in 0.05 molar ionic liquid solution at 313 Kelvin. Higher values of LP star in L glutamic acid indicates that it exhibits better interaction among itself than L aspartic acid molecules under any condition. So now, if a quantitative comparison, for the magnitude of 5d0 is done, it is uh, see that it is much greater in magnitude than the SV star values for the solution. And this suggests the strong solute solute interaction dominate over the weak solute solute interactions in all the solutions. There is hydrophobic hydration for the aging effect of the water molecules, which reflects hydrophobic interactions in the amino acids that cause volume contractions. Now here we see the limiting apparent molar expansivity is 5p0 for all the system, which are found to be positive, except for 0.05 molar bonded ionic acid at 330 Kelvin in both the amines, signifying the absence of the caging or the patent effect in the other solutions, except this one. The solute sort of interaction studied so far is now at state that it may be structure breaker or synergistic structure maker interaction. According to Hepler, the values of the del phi E0 by TTP in the expression given below determines whether it is structure breaker or structure maker interaction. Coming to table 1C and 1D, here we see the values of the limiting molar expansivity for L aspartic and L glutamic acid in the ionic liquid at different temperatures. And here we see that generally the positive or the small negative values uh, strongly suggest the structure making rather than structure breaking interaction as indicated in the table, which confirms 
that the mode of solute solvent interaction is structured using it. This effect is found to be the strongest in 0.05 molar aqueous ionic liquid solution at 313 Kelvin for both the amino acids, with the effect being greater in L-glutamic acid solutions having the highest packing of KG level. Coming to the second one, that is the viscosity measurement. Viscosity data so often analyzed with the help of the Jones Gold equation, where eta, uh, this, uh, eta and eta zero are the viscosities of solution and solvent respectively, and uh, C is the concentration of solution in molarity. So, rearrangement of the above equation is the following, and here viscosity A coefficient is a constant, also known as Falcon Hagen coefficient, standing for the long range filament quotient. Represents the solution interaction with solution, while the B coefficient is an adjustable parameter, which is the measure of the effective hydrodynamic volume reflecting the solute solvent interaction. The magnitude of viscosity B coefficient depends upon the shape, size, and the partial molar entropies of the ions. Uh, generally, uh, the, you see that here the figure uh, variation of the B values have been given of L aspartic acid and L butyric acid. And then you can concentration of the ionic liquid at the three temperatures. The series have been the three uh, temperatures have been shown by the three series. Now, here uh, the viscosity B coefficients are larger in the aqueous ionic liquid solutions, which indicate formation of the liquid structure in the presence of an ionic liquid. So, the positive B values suggest the presence of strong solute solvent interaction that strengthen with an increase in the solvent viscosity. The values of A coefficient are found to be very small. Compared to B coefficient as been shown previously in table 1a and 1b. This uh, actually indicates very weak solute solvent interaction. The displacement of water molecules by more co solvent molecules from the solvation sphere actually brings the solute and the co solvent closer, thereby increasing B coefficients and adherence accounts for the higher solute solvent interaction. Now, uh, we see the table 2a and 2b, where the viscosity B coefficients are being given along with the DBGT values. So, the extensive study of the viscosity B coefficient, uh, such as this first derivative of temperature, is an actually aberration in predicting the nature of the solute solvent interaction as structure maker or structure maker. DBDT is actually the measure of the activation energy required for the viscous point solution, and the small positive DBDT value signifies the structure making, that is the phosphotropic uh, behavior uh, of the amino acid in the aqueous ionic liquid solutions. Coming to the third one, that is the refractive index measurement, the molar refraction can be evaluated from the Lorentz Brown solution. Where Rm, Ng, M, and Rho are the molar refraction, the refractive index, the molar mass, and the density respectively. The refractive index of a substance is defined as the ratio C0 by C, where C is the speed of light in the medium and C0 is the speed of light in vacuum. Stated more simply, the refractive index of a compound describes the ability to refract light as it moves from one medium to another, and thus the higher the refractive index of the compound, the more light is refracted. As stated by Dave Leaves, the refractive index of the substance is higher when its molecules are more tightly packed or in general when the compound is denser. A generally refractive index of the system is the ability to refract light, and hence it can simultaneously measure the compactness of the system. The limiting molar refraction R0 can be calculated as shown here, where N is the molarity of the solution, and R0 is the limiting molar refraction that simplifies solute solvent interaction. The refractive index and the molar refraction show an increase with the increase in concentration of amino acid and ionic solution. Again, L glutamic acid has higher values than L aspartic acid solution, which shows that the molecules are more tightly packed to it. Figure 3 and 3b, here we see the radiation of the RN0 values of L aspartic acid, L aspartic acid uh, in the aqueous and liquid solutions at the three temperatures. The limiting molar refraction operates as an expensive tool for studying the molecular interaction in solution. And the gradual increase in the RN0 values with rise in mass fraction of co solvent and the temperature also signifies that the solute solvent interaction predominates here over the solute solute interaction. Finally, uh, coming to the last one, that is the elliptical conductance measurement. The molar conductance has been obtained from the specific conductance using the following equation. 
Activities are the first were obtained from the amino acids in isolation and establishment has been made to evaluate the beauty of our conductors from the ionic medium. In figure 4, we say, see the variation of the molar conductors with different concentration of the acetic acid in aqueous BPAC solution at three temperatures. The series uh, shows the three temperatures and the various concentration. Now, the specific conductors actually found increase with increase in temperature and increase in concentration of aqueous ionic medium solution and the amine as a solution. But the molar conductors decrease with the increase in concentration of the amino acid solution. However, the values are found to be less in L glutamic acid. We see it here in figure, in figure 4b under all conditions. So, uh, the possible reasons for the behavior could be the structural orientation of the larger L glutamic acid than the aspartic acid as you could for the molecular structures. We can see this in uh, scheme 1. The amino acids have terminal carboxylic COH group on both the ends. So, ionic liquid has benzyl triethyl ammonium cation and the chloride ion, and the terminal COO minus functional group of the amino acid possibly interact with the N plus center of the benzyl triethyl ammonium ring to ion dipole interaction. Another contributing factor is the carboxylic O atom in the amino acid, and the lone pair donating tendency of carboxylic oxygen increases with the increase in plus I effect of alkyl group of the study amino acid. Since plus I effect of L glutamic acid is more, hence the interaction is predominant in it due to the presence of more lone pair availability of oxygen atom, making the interaction stronger with the ion. So, free ions are more available for L aspartic acid, giving higher conductive values in it than L glutamic acid. So, finally, coming to the conclusion, you can say the density, viscosity, refractive index, and conductive measurements. Provide information about the interaction and show that the uh, solute solid interaction between the ionic liquid and the amino acid is higher than the solute solid interaction. This is resulted by hydrophobic interactions, metal volume contractions, and the physical methodology describes the mode of interaction in solution. The calculation of uh, limiting atom molar volume, limiting molar refraction, viscosity coefficients, and molar conductance makes it possible. To identify the interaction as predominant solute solid interaction and indicate the predominance of solute solid interaction than the solute solid interaction. The values of DBDT and delphi E0 by DBDT have been calculated to provide the information that the solute solid interaction is structure making. The next is that the extent of solvation is highest in L chromic acid at 0 0.05 molar, uh, 313 Kelvin, and lowest in L aspartic acid at 0 0.1 molar, 292 Kelvin. So the derived parameters obtained by analyzing various equations supplemented with experimental data sustain the same finale as discussed and explained above. Some of the references I have shown here. Uh, now, I am grateful to Professor Mohammed University of Nottingham and presently the Vice Chancellor of the Undergraduate University, who has been guiding me and lending me research facilities so that I continue my further research work necessary for my academic development. With this, uh, I come to the end of it. I, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your patience hearing. So, thank you all. So, this brings us to the end of the lecture. Well, before I sign off, as I always do, I would request you, in case you have any queries, please do feel free to write to me at squbesclasses at the red gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me on the numbers given on your screen. It would be a privilege on my part to be addressing your queries. Thank you so much.